when people can understand what it is they're seeking to change uh, and relate to, to where they are today. And I think it's true in this area as well. You know, we've got to make it much more relevant to people so that then they can contextualize it better. And I think if stuff is, is perhaps a little bit too bland, you know, just another program off the block, or it's too technical, we just know in today's world, people just aren't going to engage with that. So I think we have to, you know, make it a lot more relevant to people. I mean, I think one of the, for me, one of the interesting ideas is, is, is really starting to understand much better about the effects of environmental change on local communities. You know, yeah. what does it actually mean at a sort of very local level? And, and, and what impacts is, is that having? I know that's something that Sky News has started to explore more. So, so I think it's our job to, to, you know, to bring it to life for people, to make it relevant to people. And I think when we do that uh, and, and make it engaging, then, then people will, will engage with mm. it. And I think maybe one of the very few positives, obviously, with the COVID-19 has been that opportunity for people to go out for their daily walks and connect with the nature Correct. in their backyard. Yeah. And I know as a programme maker, a big motivation for me is when I get letters from people saying, I live in the top of a yeah. multi-storey block of flats, I can't go out yeah. tonight, you took me diving with whales. Yeah. And you think, Perfect. that's why we do it. And also in terms of reducing travel and things like that, ways to kind of enhance people's lives in yeah. terms of perhaps mental well-being and enjoyment yeah. Uh, yeah. the power of what nature can do as a force for good yeah. uh, alongside the crisis of the climate and the covid totally perhaps yeah. there's a sort of a, a role for it um, well, I th I think, yeah, in a mainstream way if you look at just covid there's clearly been some very very bad things there but it's undoubtedly been good for the environment yeah. you know and we've all experienced it and people have you know you talk, almost anybody will talk uh, talk about it. So I think that um, one of the ways that you can think about that is, is sort of using that element of, of this experience, capturing that and not losing it. I mean, how sad would it be if we all go back to, you know, you, you, you know spending two hours a day, you know, sitting in a car on the way to work, you know, pouring emissions out into the environment. I mean, that, I mean, that, can't, be, that can't be right. So there's, a, there's always, I think, the opportunity to in whatever experience we go through to, 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 to pick things that we want to want to change. And I don't see why COVID should be, uh, should be uh, any less than that. And I, um, you know, I, I certainly know that anybody who's, who's, who's you know, been out for a walk or just, I mean, the number of people who talk about enjoying London in a different way or being out in the countryside or, or whatever, you know, have just had a little window and an insight into a, perhaps a world that's running just not quite as hot as it used to run. Uh, and I think if we can all reflect upon that and think about that uh, and change because of that, that will be, that will be a, a good thing. I, I certainly know myself, you know, I've thought a lot about just things like my own travel schedule mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, the amount of, of, of travel that I've sort of imposed upon myself. And suddenly you realise that much of that can fall away. Mm -hmm. uh, the trick will be to keep it away and, uh, and, and, and change the way that, you know, you kind of work and live mm -hmm. um, a little bit. And, of course... You know, in one sense, that can appear small, but if we all do that, you know, if we all just make a little change, you know, you'd be surprised at how that can aggregate over time. And in terms of the wider industry, is there any more sort of key things that you would recommend that collectively we target to bring about the change as quickly as possible? Yeah. yeah. Look, I, I would love us to just have an open book mindset. Yeah. You know, anything that we have done at Sky, if, it, if it's helpful, relevant, is there for others to, you know, to mine, to use, to learn from. Um, so, and particularly, you know, if there are uh, if perhaps smaller businesses that don't have the resource we have, you know, if we can help, then we'll, we, we'd like to do that. And I think if we can all create a culture of sharing, of openness, you know, perhaps a sense of, you know, if we could ever get there, a mission for the industry yeah. to use our voice and be a leader in this, in this change, because when all said and done, you know, the, the battle for the, for the environmental health of the planet is, is the thing that's going to define um, our generation. Mm. Uh, we've had so many things we've got for free, and now is the time, you know, to accelerate our action. And I know it can sound tired, because we've been saying this for a while now, uh, but we have to do it. And, uh, and uh, it's down to all of us to, to play our part. So I think, 
if, if this can be something, if you can take one thing and say, you know, there's no competition on this. <laughs> this is just trying to get everybody, you know, level. to the next level. Mm. And if we can all do our bit, then, uh, you know, I think we'll all look about back at it and say, well, you know, when, when we had a chance to impact things, we impacted things, not just in our own backyard, but we helped others impact things in their backyard too. Yeah. So really it's that balance, isn't it, by having, in order to earn the ongoing freedom yes. of choice, which we all value enormously and we've experienced yes. what lockdown can feel like, like yes. being mindful of our responsibilities, of what we need to do to protect our freedoms yes. In, yes. In, in a kind of a virtuous circle is probably a, a healthier mindset to drive a force for good for the that, collective. I, I think that's right. You know, I think... You know, somebody who kind of grew up in finance, you know, we, we, we were always taught about, you know, there's kind of so sources and uses of funds, you know, yeah. and actually businesses, you know, we, we'll, we'll talk a lot in business about what we contribute. You know, we contribute jobs, tax revenues, we create great programming that inspires people. And all of that is true. And that was always true. But we also have to recognize that we also get a lot of resource for free. And, and we take a lot from, you know, society, from the planet, and we have to just be aware of that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, our job is to, you know, is to keep that in balance. And in a sense, that's what this whole idea of a zero carbon economy for the country, that, that's essentially what it's about, you know. So, so that will only be achieved if broadly, you know, every business, you know, gets on board. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I think that's something that we should, we should aspire to. And my experience at Sky is if you go on that journey, that actually the benefit that you get from that far, far outweighs you know, any of the costs of actually acting. And if we're sitting here, Edinburgh TV Festival 2030, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. cross the finishing line yeah. with your team, yeah. uh, what would it look like? Well, I'd hope what it would look like would be A, that we've, 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 we've achieved what we set out to achieve, hopefully, hopefully a wee bit early, but we've, we've done that, that we're celebrating that and we're feeling good about that and, and, and that there are many people uh, you know, success should have many authors, and, and and there are many people part of that journey and feeling good about that. Um, but also, I hope that the next goal will be firmly in place, and that we will not see that so much as a destination, but part of a journey, uh, and that we'll be talking about being, you know, carbon positive, and what does that mean? Uh, and so there will be this sense of renewal yep. uh, in a positive way. Um, you know, for, uh, for, 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 for Sky and that and the, and the, the journey never ends. But this is all part of how do you build, you know, a sustainable business for the long term. Mm. And just finally, really reflecting on all that you've mm. uh, shared with us, what would your kind of be um, industry take homes to sort of share with the audience today as the things that you've learnt that you feel that you hold true to day in, day out? to keep yeah. you focused on your vision and your actions? I think I'd, I'd say, you know, have an optimistic and positive mindset. You know, uh, we can change this. Uh, uh, there is time. Uh, there's always enough time if we start right now. Um, secondly, um, you know, make it a core part of, 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 of what the company's about. You know, demand it and be bold in your objectives. If people will get on board, it will be, will be, will be my experience. And thirdly, I would say, you know, open and share. You know, man never really solved a complicated problem in his life. So the idea that I'm going to solve that is just not going to happen. The way it will get solved will be by breaking it down into thousands and thousands of small actions and, and, and just working that issue and getting more and more people involved. And that requires a very open mindset. Uh, it requires a collaborative mindset. Uh, it requires you to, to be willing to learn and to, and to change. But I think if you can do those things and really follow those things over a long period of time, they are the keys, I think, to, to, to success. And then the final thing, I, I guess above all of that, is we've got to use our voice. We've got to be willing to speak, whether that's on screen, whether that's with great content, whether that's you know, in events like this, in the right way, not Hector, not lecture, yeah. but to use the power of a voice. Because at, at, when all's said and done, you know, the one thing that this industry stands for more than anything else, is you know, the power of you know, storytelling, of content and of voice. That's our greatest asset, I think. Yeah.